647 on your Wednesday morning. Thanks for waking up with us. It's Wednesday and the wise guy is here to answer your question. Today we're headed into the lab with our favorite mad scientist, Matt Sullen, for a lesson in gravity. Good morning, Matt. Morning, Mike. Morning, Matt. How are you guys? Good. So uh, good. last week we uh, asked a question at the very end that had to do with gravity. And the question I asked was, if I have something very light in one hand and something very heavy in the other hand, and I drop them at exactly the same time, which one is going to hit the ground first? And the correct answer is that they both hit the ground at the same time. And I'll do that experiment in just a moment. But I had some really good answers <coughs> sent to me by my email address. And the winner of the t-shirt this time is Dylan Jarling. He's a seventh grader in Champaign. But I also had good answers from Scott in Piper City and Rebecca and Will Gibbons. Oh dear, here goes the lights. OK. So uh, <coughs> let me do that experiment right here. So I have a very heavy lead brick, and this thing weighs about 15 pounds in one hand. A piece of wood in this other hand is quite light. I'm going to drop them at the same time, so if you stand back, you'll see this. Ready, steady. Okay, they both head at exactly the same time. Now, if I take a Kleenex and I do the same experiment, let's see what happens. The Kleenex takes much longer to get down there. That's because there's air resistance. And so that's why it took people a long time to figure out that this is how things work. Galileo actually figured this stuff out for the first time. So I have inside this glass tube, I have a feather and I have a, a lead slug. And right now, when I turn this tube on its end, the feather falls very slowly, the lead slug falls very rapidly. But I'm going to pump the air out of this thing now, and you're going to see that all change. So let me stick this on the end. I'm just going to take about 20 seconds to get the air out of this thing. Now, when all the air resistance is gone, it means that these things are going to fall at exactly the same rate, and then what you're going to see is that they fall and hit the bottom at the same time. And there was actually an experiment done by one of the moon astronauts where he dropped a feather and a hammer on the moon, and they fell at exactly the same rate. Okay, so I think that should be enough. We should have all the air out of there by now. I'm going to close the little valve. There we go. So right now, let me flip this thing up. And you see those things fall at the same rate? Okay, so when there's no air resistance, everything falls at exactly the same rate. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second per second. Okay, so that's uh, what we're going to do here in the first part. In the second part, we're going to show some of the, uh, the applications or ramifications of having this constant acceleration. So we're going to measure how fast and how far things go. Interesting stuff. Wow. All right, Matt, we'll check back with you coming up in our next half hour. Thanks. It makes you wonder.